Hello everyone, in our previous lecture we have discussed about concept of streams and we have also gone through iOS class hierarchy. Now let us discuss unformatted and formatted input output. So here unformatted input output operations can be performed using put, get, getLine and write function. So get function is used to get character from keyboard and get function is accessed using scene object. Scene object is object of iStream class and we are accessing get function that is again member function of iStream class using object of iStream class so by writing scene.get we can get character from user we can write scene.get and assign input from keyboard to the variable so this statement is similar to above statement we can also write scene and accession operator and variable name so this all three statement is valid to get character from user so this accession operator can also be used to read character but it will skip the white spaces and new line character so let us see this in terminal here i am displaying message enter character now using scene.get i am getting character from keyboard and let us print output over here let us execute this code i am entering character j it is displaying j now instead of this statement i can write ch equals to scene dot get with void argument let us execute this code it will perform the same operation now next is put put function can be accessed using cout so cout is object of ostream class and put is a member function of ostream class so we are accessing put member function using object cout so this will display character in monitor same way we can provide any symbol between single quotes to display your character in your monitor or your output device so your put function can be used to display value of variable ch or any character so let us write this in editor so let us write put function over here we can access put function using cout object and we are providing character as argument let us execute this code it is displaying the same output like previous next we are having one character array of size 20 now to get entire line we are having function get line we are supposed to provide array and size of that array we can access get line member function using scene object so that will get line or sequence of characters from keyboard so get line reads whole line of text that ends with new line character or up to array size minus one we can get this array using scene and accession operator as well but scene can read strings that do not contain white spaces and same like put we are accessing write using cout object and that is used to write entire character array in your output device so let us see in this editor so here we have taken array of size 50 let us write scene dot get line providing character array as argument and size next i'm displaying the same using write function providing array as argument and size let us execute this code so here we are providing a string with two white spaces and displaying the this is india and remaining will be filled with garbage value now instead of this if i write c in array name c out array name let us execute this code here our string is containing two white spaces so it will display up to this so here in this case whenever white space is detected it will consider as end of string so here write displays string of given size if the size is greater than the length of line then it displays bounds of that line so this is all about unformatted input output operations and that can be performed using these four functions now we are having ios formatted input output functions so very first function is width that is used to specify required field size for displaying an output value let us see the example here we have set width as 6 using cout object and let us display 
five four three so here in this output we are having six virtual places and it will fill from right to left manner next function is precision that is used to specify number of digits to be displayed after decimal point of a float value so let us set precision as six with equals to 10 and we are displaying square root of 7 so we are having logical 10 places and square root of 7 is 2.64576 so these six places will be treated as precision places next function is fill that is used to specify a character that will be used to fill unused portion of provided width or you can say fill so here we have set that character as star now width is 6 now unused portion will be filled with the star symbol next function is set f that is used to specify format flex that can control the form of your output here we have set f function inside that we have written ios scope resolution operator left and it is of type adjust fill width is six places fill character is hash and our output is filled from left to right and unused fill will be filled with hash next is unset f that will clear the flag specified by set f function so let us discuss various format flags and bit fields so first format is left justified output for that you are supposed to provide argument one as ios left and bit field should be adjust field if you want right justified output you are supposed to provide ios right and adjust field same way we can have scientific notation fixed point notation, decimal base, octal base and hexadecimal base. So these are two arguments that you are supposed to provide in set f function. Argument 1 should be one of your formatting flag and argument 2 should be one of this bit field. Now let us discuss manipulators for formatted input output operations. So manipulators are special functions that can be included in IO statements to alter format parameters of a stream so these are the special functions that you can write in your input output statements to access manipulators you are supposed to include io manip header file in your program same like io stream header file because the manipulator functions are defined in io manip header file so for function width manipulator is set w and that is used to set field width suppose you have set width 6 now later on in your program you want to change width so that can be altered using set w function and it will reassign the new field width same way for precision we are having manipulator set precision so once you have set precision 6 in later on you want 2 then you can alter it using set precision same way for fill function we are having manipulator set fill for set f we are having set ios flex for unset f we are having reset ios flex that will clear the flag you have specified and for slash n we are having and l manipulator that will insert a new line and flush the buffer or flush the stream so this was all about unformatted and formatted input output operations and their functions thank you